What's up, Restorers? Welcome back. We got another episode of Tony Restores and Explorers for you. So, sorry guys, it's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, it's been a super busy summer, but still out here trying to attack our goal of 355 cleanup. So I got off on one of these access roads where it says do not enter for park district only, but sometimes you gotta break the rules to uh, make the necessary changes that need to be done. Um, as long as you're doing it peacefully and with good intentions. So this is the 83rd Street. There's no exit here, but I've just always kind of wondered how much trash would be off this, of the people would throw off of 75th Street there, or I mean uh, 83rd Street, right before the 75th Street exit. So we're gonna take a look, see how much trash we could pick up today on our continued assault on plastic and trash and uh, all things harmful to the uh, to us and the planet. It's like one thing I uh, one thing I often think of is like all these CEOs and corporate shareholders of these big companies. Like I wish we could get them in a courtroom and like sit them down and make them chug microplastic contained water and have us tell it to our face that it's safe. You know, everybody knows it's not safe. Everybody knows it's silly. So let's just quit it. Look how pretty this is though, guys. Look at all this vegetation here. Beautiful sunset on this August evening here. Great time to pick up trash. I know it's hot everywhere. It was uh, it was a hot one today. Got pretty high up there, almost 90. Jeez. So you gotta take full advantage of the summer. I've been working quite a bit, so that's why I haven't had a lot of free time to uh, do the restorations and do the cleanups. But. Uh, Got off work today and figure, you know what, I got a little time. Let's get out there. Let's get out there a little bit, huh? Right? Why not? Why not? Let's see what people are throwing out. Let's see what goodies we can find. Oh boy, all these vapes. Look at this, a battery. Again, guys, with the vapes. Please dispose of your vapes properly, I get it. I too, uh, sadly, fell into the consumerist trap of smoking tobacco and nicotine and um, just make a conscious effort, guys, to uh, give the planet a break, stop throwing these battery-operated vapes out. So it's cool, too, we get to, little, uh, we get to combo these into these cleanups into little nature viewing videos and wow look at these we'll get down to the level here and give you guys a scan I mean just wow look at all uh, the pricklies at their peak well some of them are at their peak others are not at their pre peak prickle it's scary if you walk into one of those almost looks like a little pineapple on top Little pineapples of pain. That's what they should be called. Not very friendly to humans. But we're not very friendly to them. Can you blame them? So, we're always on the hunt for our mycelium. Our other uh, co-authors co in this little story of planet Earth. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's having car troubles down there. We got some of the bumblebees doing the good work. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer as much as you can. This kind of stuff just makes me happy. Seeing all this green growth Gotta keep it green. You know what I mean?
Aluminum. Gotta be as courteous as we can as we're walking. Yeah, it's so weird. Look at this. So the, the park districts, they plant these. And uh, then they let all the shrubbery grow around it. I don't know how often they're up here to clean, but quite a bit of uh, excess going on, including our highway system. You know, one time in America's history, we built these highways thinking to ourselves, Oh, this is, a, this is a badge of honor. This is a point of pride. We built our, our cars and our, our highways. We paved the, the new world. Now I think these future generations just kind of look at it as concrete jungle. It really doesn't provide much value. We gotta be more efficient like some of these other countries with how we transport people, goods, and services. Get on the train, guys. Get on the train gang. Big train gang guy. We can't full stop use the cars and stuff like that, but we can get on the cha train gang. Working on the chain gang. Yeah. So it is best to do these in the winter time where you don't have the greenery and you can you can easily grab at the trash. But it's just so much funner uh, in the summer. Look at all these trash just trash makes its way everywhere. Don't how how in the you ask yourself, how in the world could this type of trash Make it all the way up here. That's a steep decline down there into the uh, into the highway system. So it's just super hard to believe that uh, we haven't figured out how to throw stuff away properly. You never know what goodies you can find when you're out here. It's mostly plastic. Ooh, bumblebee. Look at that pretty guy. Checking out a flower. Sounds like a helicopter coming through. Oh, that looks like a military one, actually. Certainly doesn't seem like a commercial one for all of our uh, armed services people out there. If anybody can tell from the video what type of uh, helicopter that is, throw it in the comments. Get to the chopper now, what are you waiting for? I'll be back. I'll be back for the plastic. Yeah. I will be back for the plastic. If you litter, you will be terminated. Terminator. I see. It's so cool, like, you're looking at how when we human beings moved all this dirt around and all the little micro areas that are created because of it like all the water just funnels down to this man-made little valley they got here and hence the extra height out of all of the shrubbery and plants ferns and a, such down in here this is where the trash seems to go follows the water but I do not see any trash here this place passes the Arnold test 
the passes, flying colors. See, I should be wearing um, long sleeves with, or I'm sorry, long sleeves, the um, long pants. So you never know what you're brushing up against here, but it's just so hot. Milk was a bad choice. So damn hot. Oh, we dodged a mighty perkerly there. See this, somebody comes and does cut this, but this has been a while, a while since they've came. That's, that's pretty old grass clippings there. Pretty old. See, I kind of like letting the plants touch my legs. It's uh, refreshing. Not those though. I don't like those. Those pricklies are prickly. Ah! Wish there was a better way to get down there. We could clean up along this ridge here. This looks like a fun one. <whistles> Hope you guys are uh, keeping up on your knowledge too. I haven't been doing the live streams because I think there's enough doom and gloom articles out there. I don't want to keep contributing with the podcast of just doom, gloom. So we, I just like to talk about articles now during these type of videos while I clean so that we can turn it into optimism. We already have enough cynics out there in many movements. We need less cynics. Even though they're, uh, they may be supporting the cause, they're so cynical that nothing gets achieved. Can't do that, gotta stay positive. Yeah, especially in feminism. I talk about Terrence all the time. Terrence McKenna, our, our go-to for our uh, podcasts. We do little chats from Terrence at the end of every podcast, but I think fe feminism can save the world. It's one of those things that, uh, it's one of those movements, socio-political movements that, uh, exploded non-violently over the last century. So, we need to continue that trend. Sorry guys. That being said, we're already 15 minutes in here. I'm gonna continue my clean. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure we're living that green revolution. No matter what side of the political I'll ask, Isle you're on, it doesn't matter. We can all agree that it's important to uh, keep beautiful Mother Nature as clean as possibly be, as it can be. For the community, for ourselves, for the planet. We gotta be stewards and not owners. Stewards of the planet, not ownership. So, we'll see you guys again soon. Bye.